Well, obviously my target was to get gold. A um, bit disheartened by it, but we can't keep dwelling on it. You've got to move for forward and learn from it. That's all you do. If you learn from it, you get better, don't you? And you get better results next time. Obviously, I didn't. it just wasn't my day. On a better day, I would beat the girl, so just got to keep going. Uh, yeah, it, it felt real. As soon as I got into the final, it was like, bloody hell, Dem, you're in the final. Like, come on, let's go change that colour of the medal. Obviously, that didn't happen, but I still got into the final of the Commonwealth Games and come away with a silver medal. So, I couldn't be any happier. Mine was a bit different. So, if you asked me at the start of the year, um, it would have been gold medal. That's all I was coming for. But I had a really bad injury. So, I didn't think it was, it was going to be possible to even come to the Commonwealth Games. I got told I won't box for the rest of this year. Um, two months ago, if you said I'd even be on the podium or even at the Commonwealth Games, I'd have probably cried because it just wasn't in the vision. So to even be picked for the team and get a medal was just unbelievable with the year I've had. But obviously coming here and winning the bouts, no athlete's going to say they don't want a gold medal. I was coming for the gold. Um, that's all I really wanted, but it just wasn't my day on the day. Um, so I'm, can't, I'm happy with silver after the year I've been through, but it was always the goals that I wanted. Well, I got on GB, I think it was 2019, but before that I was boxing a lot. I've been boxing since I was seven, but to actually get onto GB and do like major competitions and go around like the world, yeah, it was 2019, and I think it just started to come real, like you said, after the Olympics, after Nicola Adams like put that stepping stone out there, it all become like, wow, you know what, women can do it too. Yeah, 10 years ago, um, I was only 10, so I've been boxing as well since I was six, when there wasn't many females in the sport. Um, I think 2012 was a big changing point when obviously Nicola Adams, Katie Taylor won the Olympics. So it's nice to see like the progression of women's boxing. But ever since I was young and I've watched the Commonwealth Games, I've watched the Olympics, it's always been on the bucket list. It's always been a dream. I've always said that's one of the goals is the Commonwealth. So to be able to actually tick that off now and walk away with a medal is amazing. No, not yet. Um, I think everyone's speaking about like stuff, but... We've still got we've still got I've goals. I've still got time on GB. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Got, I've still got goals to achieve. We've got goals in the amateurs that we haven't achieved yet, medals that we haven't won yet. So until we get them, nah. we're, we're staying on yeah. GB. Yeah, <laughs> they're stuck with us. Yeah, that's always the end goal. <laughs> yeah, it's always the end goal. I think um, the Europeans, obviously, the world, the little tournaments, just to get the experience in. But that's all like a build up for the big one, which is the Olympics, where it really matters. So. That's always the end goal, but there's lots of little goals on the way to that as well. Yeah, no, I haven't really thought about it yet. Do you know what I mean? I, for me, it's like one bit, like one thing at a time. And obviously, on my list, the biggest thing for achieve to achieve was the Commonwealth Games. So now that's done, I'll have a little reset, think, and go from there.